Welcome back, Seeds. Uh, it's Glitch. Um, so as I mentioned in my last video, I planned on making my avatar, and uh, I toyed with it for quite a while. I ended up um, spending, yeah, I think it was like six or seven hours working on it. Um, and once I figured out how to do it, I decided I was going to make a, a quick little tutorial. Um, well, it's actually probably going to end up being a very long tutorial because I'm not as uh, good an artist as a lot of people. Um, I was actually talking to Pam Cakes um, earlier today and she's going to make a, a, another <laughs> tutorial on how to make a, a seed avatar um, and I'm sure hers is going to be much better looking at the end than mine. Uh, she's a much better artist than I am. Uh, but I still felt like it would be interesting to do it from kind of my perspective of uh, someone who's not very artistic, at least not when it comes to drawing people. Um, and as far as computer kind of graphical design and stuff, um, fairly new to it. Uh, actually, it was amusing. <laughs> uh, yesterday when I was making my, my uh, avatar, I probably spent a good two or three hours um, trying to make it in Photoshop until I finally just gave up and opened up MS Paint. Um, I used to doodle in this a lot as a kid, so I'm quite familiar with all of these simple um, tools. You got your bucket, you've got your pen, you got your brushes, and these shapes. So even though you can do a lot more in Photoshop, not everyone's got access to it, and if they do, it can be a bit intimidating. So I figured I would make it um, from the perspective of somebody who isn't necessarily very good at art and doesn't have access to fancy programs. So this is my uh, MS Paint Seed tutorial. Um, the avatar that I made, uh, here let me show you what it looks like if, uh, well, you could see it in the little description. <laughs> I'll show it to you anyway. Um, to do it was avatar I did this and this is basically the MS Paint version this cool ruin effect I did in uh, Photoshop afterwards but I got this nice little base head in paint and I'm gonna use the same techniques I did here but see if I can make an entire actual seed so the first thing that I'm gonna start with um, is I've got a picture of myself I took this morning. I look absolutely terrible in it, so you'll have to forgive me for that. Um, but it works for what I need it to be. So first I'm just going to select around it and crop it to size because I just need the head. And then I'm going to kind of keep this off to the side because I don't really need it yet. I'm going to go in and actually start setting up. Eh, I'll make this big. I mean, it, it's always better to kind of start bigger because you could always shrink down, um, but it's when you try and uh, expand out that it starts getting problems. So the first thing that I've always known that you had to do, but have been terrible at doing it, is the whole you start with a circle. And I'm bad at drawing circles, but luckily if you hold down shift with the little uh, circle tool, it makes you a perfect circle. Uh, just get it to a size that you kind of like. I'm thinking there's good. Uh, move it up a little bit. Eh, yeah, I'll start it there. You can always kind of grab this stuff and move it around uh, if you need to. So that's a good advantage of doing it like this instead of on pen and paper. So now I'm going to grab the curve tool. Kind of drag this down. You could do it straight to get a perfect line, but we're going to be uh, deforming it anyway. So there's not really too much of a point, just get it where it looks nice. And then this is basically going to define your face um, as well as kind of the overall shape that you end up with. If you put it all the way down, you're going to be kind of chin heavy. All the way up, you're going to be kind of got that alien look to you. Uh, I'm going to put it mm, right about the middle. I kind of want it to be a thinner face, so I want it to be a little bit higher up to start. This is also going to be basically the nose line. Um, the thing about this tool that always got me is it's made for curves. 
so technically this line hasn't actually been placed yet. If you just click somewhere else, it grabs it and tries to deform it again. But I just want kind of a smooth curve, so you could toy with it to get that double curve to work. Or what you can do is if you draw the line down, get the curve to where you like it, just click out of the tool and back in and you're fine. So I'm going to go with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it just basically sets out the, the lines for your face. Uh, now we got to do a crossbar to basically uh, define where the eyes are going to sit. So I'm just going to go straight across once more, just kind of grab it, pull it down because I kind of want to look over to the uh, right. Also, that's, that's the thing with this. Depending on where this curves, it's really going to define where the face is facing. So if you want something that's straight on, it would have to be straight down. But I want to look over to, well, the left, my seed's right. So I did it this way. And this gives you the basic shape. Now, I'm sure there are th like fancy art terms and stuff as far as what these things mean. I don't know them, and you don't need them. <clears throat> the next thing that I'm going to do is define the cheek. So I'm just going to oop, go away. I'm just going to grab this here. Come on. It, oh, see, it's really that double curve that gets you. I always forget about it, but it is important. Uh, no, I might want it a little bit higher up. There we go. See, the good thing about this is it's very simple lines, so you just have to kind of mess with it until you get it to roughly where you want. Now, you just kind of connect these two dots because we want to flush out this part of the face. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pull it out. Uh, right around, I guess, there. And then pull it. Hmm, no. Uh, nope. See, it's really quick, so you're able to really mess with it a lot. So I want it to go there for that, and then I'll pull out the bottom cheek a bit. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, it looks good enough. And then we'll do it on the other side. Let's get this one a bit more out. And I kind of like that, that little point to the face, having a, a kind of pointy chin. I mean, it's a bit more artistic, because um, obviously I don't have a pointy chin. <laughs> but it, it adds an interesting shape to the face that I like. So I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, let's just get rid of that dot. All right, the next thing to do, <clears throat> I guess, would be either the eyes or the mouth. Um, although first, I'm just going to save this um, just so that if I make a mistake, I can go back. In Photoshop, you would use um, layers to do this, but uh, they're too complicated for me. So I'm just going to save files. Um, and it, this is a good way to kind of fake layers um, if you don't have Photoshop and you're just working out of paint. So I will name this Mesh because that's what it is. Mesh. Save. All right. So this is the base mesh. The next thing that I want to do is actually define these lines into a face. Um, so I'm going to switch over to black. And let's look about getting a nose. I'll put that there. And mm, I want more curve to my nose. Let's see. Let's go with there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you, you're going to make that mistake a bunch if you're not used to it. Um, you always, I mean, it just, for me at least, it feels like you put a line down, you curve it, and then once you're done with it, you forget that the computer's not necessarily. All right, let's 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 make an eye. So I'm just going to do this with a curve. Put that there. 
and then <laughs> I look angry but I'm not a bad guy so let's uh, lighten that up a little bit um, let's see the, the good thing about this is just by moving around the top kinda um, the top line before you place it you really can kinda feel the expressions that you it's gonna make uh, which is really interesting and I just figured that out now so I like it um, I think I want to go for one of these like just simple kinda big-eyed expressions and I, I like that so mm, no no I don't want to do the eye like that <laughs> see right when I got there I realized oh I'm gonna have to put an eye on the other side oh wait I'm terrible at drawing so I'm gonna cheat uh, no I want this to be blue go away so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a small circle that will dictate the size of the eye and I want the eyes to be pretty big um, because I don't know I just kinda feel like that is an aesthetic um, that really kinda fits tug just large eyes so I'm just gonna go through and kinda match that curve a little bit and then I'm gonna go connect here to there and there we go I and I really should have saved that circles well this is a kind of candid tutorial, so you get to see me messing up. Um, yeah, let's just start over. I mean, one of the good things about doing it so candidly is I sh really, it, it shows that you don't have to be perfect. If you mess up, it doesn't take too much effort to, um, to really go back and, and do something again. It's not the end of the world. So, uh, yeah. Then I'm going to put this there. I think I want the eyes to be a little bit more fat, less pointy. So I'm going to try not to put that extension out too far. And that, t hopefully, when I do this, yeah. It's got a nice little uh, shape to it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, let me copy this little other circle. Put that over there. That, I guess. Uh, that. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Do, do, do. Yeah, I like that. It's got a. It definitely feels like somebody's got two eyes that are at least somewhat matched in size. Uh, you don't have one giant eye and one tiny one. Uh, no, and the, the head isn't really curved enough where it looks out of place that this eye isn't like tiny compared to this one. And I kind of did that on purpose because I'm terrible with uh, proportions. Uh, as I'm looking, though, I'm, I don't really think this curve should be as extreme. So, I'm going to fix it. See, nothing really is set in stone, which is good. Um, you really, if something doesn't feel right, just go in and uh, change it. So, at first I liked this curve to be so extreme. Now I don't. And... There we go. It's still got a point to it, which I like. But now it's like not a uh, not as extreme. It's just a nice little kind of taper. Oop, no, I don't want to do that. I want this to be white. There we go. And I can clean up more of that later and bucket tool for erase. I mean the eraser's fine and all, but personally I find it's really good for these little tiny kinda 
leftover bits, but if you need to do something larger, um, it's just easier to make your color white and use one of the other tools. Uh, yeah, I like that. I mean, this I might come back because it feels a little fat at this point. Um, with this side of the head being so lean, it just kind of looks bulgy. Um, so I might come back on that later, but right now I want to finish up the face. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is the mouth. Um, I want to give myself a little bit of a smirk. Uh, no, that is not a smirk. Yeah, so we'll do the baseline and we'll connect them. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I was intending to do something like this, which I like too, but having just the the little smirk, eh, nah. I don't know. Hmm. Now I'm conflicted. I like both of them. Nah, I'm going to make the big mouth. I kind of like that. It looks happier. All right. So now I got the mouth and the nose where I want them. I guess it's time for the ear. 